Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dittman here from Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And today I have for you the Bullet Ultralight from Keystone. It's the 221 RBS. We'll walk around the outside, we'll get you on the inside, and we'll see what you think. All right, here we have a nice mid-size travel trailer for you. Perfect for the family. We have it on the we have it on the showroom floor right now, so if you want to come look at it, it is in the beautiful 70 degree weather. We are looking outside at all the snow. Dream of those days that you're out on the campsite. We're always flying high our American flag to the ceiling in here. Veterans Day yesterday, so it's a nice little shout out to those guys. Thanks for all you've done. For anyone who served. Right up front, we got a nice fiberglass cap, the big, nice LED light right above that bullet sign. When you get to the campsite late at night, that'll really light up all the stuff out front for you too. If you need to do any hookups or unhooking late at night or early in the morning, that will be a nice little feature for you. You do got a couple 20 pound LP tanks right up front that we're gonna fill for you before you hit the road. We're gonna throw in that battery right in there. So you're all set to go. This one does have a power tongue jack with the light for the hookup right here too. Nice and convenient for you. We'll walk you around the back side first. Like I said, we're in the showroom floor, so it's kind of tight in front, so we'll get you around here. This one does have, have some good pass-through storage right under here with that light on the other side good area there does have the good heavy doors that are held up by magnets so you don't got to worry about breaking any latches and then being out there having to hold those up the magnets will keep it up for you right by your connections your cable your city water your fresh water and this is where the power jacks are going to live too so both your jack buttons are going to be right into this area as well so this does come on some power jacks Get your one nice slide. And the windows all around. Really make it feel open when you get in. Walk you around the back side. Outdoor shower right there. It's always nice to have a second outdoor shower or even a second shower. Spray off the dogs, the kids, the toys, the bikes, anything you need right here. Keep the dirt out of the unit. Around the back side, it is prepped for a backup camera. So bring it up there. Your water heaters on the back, along with a spare tire. You got a nice bumper where your sewer hose is going to live. So you don't got to store that in any of your compartments. That'll go right there, which is really nice. around the front side where all the fun is to be had. We'll kind of bring it back around the stuff. This is going to have the industry best three year limited structural warranty with these guys as well. Nice big awning with the LED strip under it. Keep the party going late into the night. You got your speakers up top. So if you're playing the right music, you'll make all the friends at the campsite. They'll come over with their beer. You just gotta play music. You got a spot for a TV to put it outside for your favorite game. The hookups for it right here next to it. This is really nice. You got a nice wide axle with aluminum rims. Those are great in case, you know, if you live anywhere like we do in Duluth here, you got pothole central, so if one tire falls in, you get the other tire out. It really pulls nice through the wind as well. It's great to have those axles spread out like that. Nice solid step going in. It's always nice so you're not bouncing the, you know, the trailer up and down when you're running in and out of it. And if you have the kids or the dogs with you, having that step go all the way to the ground is really nice. Nice big grab handle as you're coming in for the assist. 
And right as you walk in, you got some really nice storage here. If you wish, you could put a bar in there. Well, there's a bar. And then you can, you know, hang some of your coats, sweatshirts, stuff like that right away. With a nice little countertop to kind of throw and go, you know, all your stuff right there. You also have a spot with your 110 and USB, so you can kind of let your phone live here. Or if you're a photographer, you're out, you can kind of let your camera and have all your charging ports there. Right up front is where all your your awning, your ceiling, your you know your slides, the motherboard I like to call it lives right here. And this unit is really nice and open, so we'll give you kind of a pan. Everything's just like a big open unit. Right as you walk in is the bathroom, which is really nice, so you're not tracking through the whole place. So you can kind of just come right in the door, right into the bathroom. With these really nice light colors, it really makes it feel really open in some of these smaller units that having those lighter cabinetries and lighter countertops really just makes it feel open. You know, you got ducted AC into here, you got a fan for the moisture and the smells. Nice big corner shower to really maximize the space there. Sink, you got the st little storage under it. Nice Madison cabinet above. Spot to hang your towels on the back. All right, then with this unit, like I said, it's a really big open unit. You got your bed in the back, almost like a your compartment, your apartment style. Really great for a single family or just a couple. A nice roomy space for you. In the kitchen here, a lot of countertop space, and you got storage all above. Like I said, you'll see all these nice white cabinetry. Really makes it look bright and light in here. Opens it up. So big space there. Nice high-rise faucet that swings out of the way with the big farm-style stainless steel. Cover that up to add more of the counter space. But you can really see this counter just really extends and it is a lot of space for you. And then under two, you know, storage, storage, and more storage. That's the key. To RV and the more you can pack with the longer you can stay out so it's really great you got a nice three burner cooktop as well right here the Furion the cool little blue accent lights and a nice little oven for you and then you got your power pod right here nice little pop-up USB 110 just comes right out and folds away really cool then it does have a fan and the light right above the stove and a microwave above that which is great little cubby hole here to stick some of your stuff with the sound system entertainment system above that with auxiliary USB DVD, Blu-ray, all that in there. Or blue, DVD, CD, I should say. Get your TV. That is going to be on a swivel. So when you are out in the living space, you know, around this nice dinette booth with the whole family playing cards, putting a puzzle together, whatever you guys like to do, having dinner. You can have the TV here. If you want, you can turn the TV when you're time to go to bed. And you can put the TV right over the bed. You got some great storage under the bed right in front here for more you got we, we like to say the hers and her storage on the two sides of the cabinets so you get the wardrobe with the bars in there for the hanging stuff and then nice little drawers under it with a nice little bedtime stand and then this one's really nice because I don't know if you can see. We'll see if we can. We'll see what we can see. We'll tuck it back here. This one has cool little shelving, and that's where your USB and all your 110 is going to live back there. So you can kind of tuck it back in there. And if you have a CPAP machine, it might be able to fit under there, which is nice. You can kind of tuck that all back, and and that's on both sides too. 
And if you can see on the top, there's that little black hole. You can kind of run your cords all the way up through there so it's not going to be obstructing your sleeping area and get tangled up when you're sleeping and pulling them out and hitting yourself in the head. Right down here, they call it a laundry chute. So if you want to throw a laundry basket, you can throw a little hamper down there. Or if there's stuff that you want to put under there that does go into the storage from the outside so you can get at that while you're in here and don't have to get up in the middle of the night to go out there. Or you can just throw your clothes in there, which is really nice. Got your overhead little nook. Tuck a bunch of stuff up there. You got windows on either side of the bed with one of them being an emergency. Like I said, with this big, huge dinette, this will drop down to another sleeping area for like the kids. Or if you do want to bring some really good friends with, like I said, there's not a lot of privacy in this unit, but that's what makes it feel really open and really inviting. With the big storage that's going to go under on both sides. And then you got your pull drawers on the end here too for a bunch of utensils and stuff that you're going to need in there. So just a really nice unit. You can only get USB back behind there to plug in. I think I missed this because it's tucked in so nice and just falls in, but it's a nice Dometic fridge freezer. Gas and electric. That kind of just blends into the background right there. And like I said, you know, with this being a nice open unit they're kind of losing some walls and losing some weight so this thing's coming in at just under 4900 pounds at like 4860 pounds so just a really great unit to be able to tow anywhere and like i said with those spread out axles you're definitely going to be able to have that comfort to bring it somewhere and have that smoother ride and it's going to tow a lot nicer so just a really cool small mid-size from keystone all right, guys, if you have any questions about this unit or any other unit we have going on here at Bullion, please don't hesitate to text or call me at 320-290-5834. And as always, stay safe and happy camping.